Hello everyone. It's such a lovely day to be alive. We thank God for life. We thank him for strength. We thank him for bringing us this far. Today is day 66 of our 90 days with Jesus. And our title for today says, not cold. Not cold. Now, a lot of things will come to your mind. What does it mean not cold? I'm not a commodity that you put in a freezer. But the truth is, God links our relationship with him to such he said in his word that he would rather prefer that we are hot because if you're cold, it will spoil you out of his mouth. Now, let's go to our reading for today. It says in Romans 12, 11 to 13, he said, don't burn out. Keep yourselves fueled and aflame. Be alert servants of the master, cheerfully expectant. Don't quit in hard times. Pray all the harder in hard times. Pray all the harder. Help needy Christians be inventive in hospitality. But you know, I'll just pick two lines that stands out for me. The first one is, don't burn out. The world as we know it, it's like a marketplace with so much going on every day. Everything tugging on you, dragging for your attention. If you're a mother in our present day world, you will understand this so well. Especially when, because you have to go to work in the morning, you, are, you come back, you're preparing the kids, you're attending to your husband, you have extended family members to attend to everything pulling at you. You have deliveries at your workplace. If you run a business, by the way, you're living in a totally crazy world. There's so much pulling at you all at the same time. But God expects you in the midst of all of this to remain hot and fervent for him. Why, you would ask, God, you know all I'm going through. Why? The reason is simple. And I'll use a very practical example. If you set a hot plate of food on the table, you will notice that nothing, nothing whatsoever comes near it. But as the temperature of the food drops, as the food becomes cold, you notice a fly pass over. You notice ants creeping into the food. And that's the same way it is with our lives. Most of the challenges you face today is because of the coldness of your relationship with God. Once our relationship with God is hot and on fire, there's little or nothing that can come in between. One of the most transforming points in my life was when I took my relationship with God seriously. I remember two years ago when I was trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And I told myself that, hey, I'm going to take my relationship with God seriously. I'm going to do whatever he asks me to do. I'm just going to set it all out before him. One thing I noticed was everything began to fall in place. Everything working out together for good. Like the Bible puts it, he started giving me inspiration, started giving me instruction, started giving me direction. I was hot on, the, on, as in, on a steady basis. He directed me on what to eat. Yes, yes, as little as what to eat who to associate with, the hospital to go, things I needed to do to birth my miracles. You need your fire for God. Your fire for God helps you in life. You can't make it in this life without God. And that's the truth. Yes, a lot of things will drag at you. A lot of things will call for your attention. But see, if you're too busy for God, then you are just too busy for life. You are just too busy. There is a need to set out time to be with God. David had time with God. One of my all-time heroes in the Bible was Daniel. Daniel took out time to seek God's face. The Bible recorded about David that David prayed three times a day and he spent seven times in the day praising God. That means he literally lived in God's presence. And you know, just like the series we had a while back, out of Eden. Just staying in God's presence is what guarantees your success in life. Just imagine it this way. God being your best buddy. You chat with him every day. You can, you can never miss it in life. Most of the struggles we face as believers is because we put God on the sideline. If God was your best buddy, you hang out with him, you talk with him, he speaks with you. If you're into business, he'll tell you the business to attend to. He'll tell you where to go, what to be. Imagine that, no failure in life, because God is your personal advisor. So now, how do you get hot in God? Let's go to Jude chapter 1, verse 21 to 23. It says, Dearly beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, 
praying in the Holy Ghost. Believer, dear believer, praying in the Holy Ghost sets your heart on fire. It sets you in an atmosphere to hear God steadily for yourself. It puts you in the place where you hear God clearly. In fact, that's one of the benefits of praying in tongues. It opens your heart to receive the best of God. You hear God clearly, you know what to do, your heart, and once your heart, there's no room for sin. Once you set your relationship on course, once you spend time in prayers, praying in tongues, you begin to long more for the things of God. It creates a longing, a, a, a drive, an hunger in you for God. So we're going to be praying today in line with this because being hot, being hot for God is everything to you as a believer. It places you at the point where you're untouchable, you're unreachable, you're too hot to be handled by the forces of life and the devil. So go ahead and pray with me today and say, Lord, set my heart on fire for you. Lord, I want to know you. Lord, I want to become close to you. I refuse to quit. I, I know there are a lot of things surrounding me, but I refuse to quit at this point in time. God, set my heart on fire for you. God, help me to long and pant for you as the deer pants for the water brook. Help my heart to pant after you every single day. I receive the strength to serve you. I receive the strength to go ahead, to go on in you day after day. I refuse to quit. Lord, we thank you because you've heard us. We thank you because we are no longer cold. We thank you because our hearts are on fire for you and we are untouchable to the forces of life and to the devil. We give you all the glory, Father, because this is done in Jesus' name. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, so keep studying, keep praying, Keep spending time in God's presence and keep getting hotter and hotter for God. So have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. Bye.